Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time stopping by, thank you so much for popping in. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Today's video is gonna be a Valentine's Day look number two. This look is going to be much more neutral than the last look that I did. It's going to be a good one for beginners or for people who just prefer a more toned down makeup look. Before we jump into that, remember if you like me, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and if you do subscribe, hit that notification bell, and that will send you a notification anytime that I post new content. Let's get started. All right, now that we are at up now that we're up close and personal we are going to dive right in as you can see i already did the bulk of my makeup i went in with a light layer of foundation today but i did go pretty heavy on the blush that is the mood that i'm in today lots of blush if you are not a fan of a lot of blush do what makes you feel happy you do not have to do your makeup the same way that i do mine if you are interested in my foundation routine you can find that in my winter foundation routine video that is linked up above wherever I put it but for today we're gonna to be focusing on the eyes and the lips for this look today I am going in with my sweet Oasis palette by Morphe we are gonna be sticking in this area where all these really beautiful neutrals are so if you are using a different palette you're gonna to want to pick one that has some nice warm or cool tone neutrals whichever you prefer I prefer warmer but if you're a cool tone person then choose shades that make you happy get them together get your brushes and let's get going all right so like i said i did already do my makeup my lids are already primed with concealer and some loose setting powder i am going to dip into the shade alfresco in my palette with a nice fluffy blending brush and i'm gonna take that and apply that on the lid and just into the crease and remember when we are applying our shadows we want to use light sweeping motions if you want more pigment then you're going to use like tapping motions but for this look today most of what we're doing is going to be lots of blending with those sweeping back and forth motions now that i've got that first shade down i'm gonna go in with this shade right here rooftop view i'm actually going to use the same exact fluffy brush light tap and that is going into the inner crease area. I wanna keep the inner eye light because we're gonna be putting some pretty shimmer down and I want this look to be just nice and soft, no harsh lines. So I'm not gonna be doing a cut crease with the shimmer, but I want there to be a nice area for that to go down. So I'm keeping it mostly in the crease bringing it down into my inner corner and not really going past that halfway point of the eye here we are we've got our first two shadows down i know it doesn't look like too much of anything yet but just trust the process and stick with me Alrighty, next i'm going to be dipping into the shade right here sandbar with a nice fluffy brush this one's a little fluffier than the one that i used before but any brush that you have will do just fine so picking up the shadow we are going to go in the outer portion of our crease and focus on getting that pigment down. And once you've got that down, we're gonna blend it in ever so slightly. We don't wanna pack any new product onto the brush for this. Just work with what's already on the skin and blend it in to what we already had put down on the inner corner. Should look something like this. I'm gonna pick up more of this same shade, Sandbar and concentrate that on the outer portion of the eye. I'm using light packing motions. And once I've got that packed on, I am taking... Once you have that shade packed into the outer portion of the eye, I'm grabbing the fluffy brush that I used for the inner corner. I'm gonna dip into the shade Rooftop View, and I'm gonna use that to blend out the rest of this shadow going back and forth until you're satisfied with the blend. All right, feeling good about that, I'm going to take the brush that I used for the shade Sandbar with no new product, and I'm just gonna tap over where I blend it out just to bring back a little bit of that shade. You might have to keep going back in to blend, but just do it as you see fit. If you feel like you've blended and it's looking good, then go ahead and stop. But if you feel like it needs a little bit more work, then go ahead and just continue with your sweeping motions. Alrighty, so the next tool that I'm picking up is an angled brush. 
I'm gonna use this brush and some eyeshadow to create my winged liner. If you prefer a liquid liner or a felt tip liner, whatever kind of liner that you prefer, absolutely use. I'm gonna be using eyeshadow because I like to do that. I think it's just easier and it's a little more forgiving. I am dipping into Shady Spot with my angled brush and I'm gonna create the wing for this look. Now, depending on your eye shape, you may want to alter the type of liner that you're doing but for me in my eye shape, this type of liner gives me a really beautiful cat-like eye shape. So I am creating my beginning point and I'm going to take my brush and just come down and meet my lash. Okay, so as you can see, I stopped almost halfway and I'm gonna fill all of this in and leave this open. I wanna get a little more from this shadow, so I'm just gonna give my brush a light spray and dip back in to shady spot. So at this point, I'm just about done with my liner. I'm gonna take the same brush, same shadow, and instead of going on top of the lid and tracing out the rest of the liner, I'm gonna go in my waterline and just deepen that waterline. There we go. Now the last step for this liner, I'm gonna take the brush and bring the shadow to meet my own lash line. So if you guys can see, because of my eye shape, the liner ends right here, and that leaves a slight little gap at the outer corner of the eye. So I'm taking my angled brush with the same shade, and I'm going from the end of my wing and just connecting in until I touch down and meet my lashes. So it's just that outer corner that I'm filling in. And then the same thing, I'm gonna take the shadow and fill in the bottom waterline. There is our liner. Now, the last step to complete this look is gonna be to apply a shimmer. I'm gonna be using my ColourPop Jelly Much Shadow in the shade Mystical. This is what it looks like, and it is so, so beautiful on the lid. So I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of product on my pinky, and I'm just going to place that in the inner portion of the eye. And then I start to kind of lightly diffuse it out. Just begin to use less pressure as you fade out. So this is what it looks like. If you wanna get a little bit of a better blend between the shimmer and the outer corner shadow, just lightly go back in with that same shadow and blend that. Okay, now I'm gonna apply my mascara. Okay, so there we have our first eye. I'm gonna go off camera, complete the second eye, probably put on some lashes, and then I'll be back to do our lip. All right, back and ready for action. It is now time to complete the entire eye and do our under eye area. I am taking a small fluffy brush. You guys see it's very tiny. And I'm going to dip into this shade Sandbar, and I'm just gonna blend this out under the eye all the way to the outer corner and into the inner. I'm going to take my highlight. I'm using the Julia's Place Volume 3. And I'm going to take a small brush and I'm going to apply my inner corner highlight with this little brush. And then I'm going to kind of lightly bring it just under the outer corner and then lightly blend it up. Now, one of my favorite things about this eye look is that because it is so neutral, there are so many different lip options. I pulled out a couple liners just to share with you guys some shades that I think would be very complimentary to this look, depending on what color your outfit is, depending on your skin tone, on your hair color, and just on your personal preference. But this eye look is a perfect match to do a nice bold red lip. If you're wearing black, if you're wearing white, if you're wearing red, a beautiful red lip would really complete the eye look and tie everything together. The next few options that I choose are more neutral nude tones. This one is more of like a mauve purple tone, but is very, very beautiful. And I think it would complement this eye look nicely. And then of course, the two really nude tones. So if you're wearing a colored outfit, a nude lip 
is perfect because it's gonna match, it's gonna complement the eyes, it's gonna complement the outfit, and it will tie everything together. So the lip that you choose is totally up to you. Even a pink would be beautiful. Today, I'm gonna be doing a nude lip. Actually, I changed my mind. Today, I'm going to be going in with my purple liner. This is by Essence Beauty and is in the shade Going Steady. So I'm gonna sharpen my pencil and get us a nice clean slate to work with. And I'm gonna line the lips. Okay, and I'm gonna mix that with my ColourPop gloss in the shade She's Here. I'm actually just gonna put a little bit of gloss on this flat packing brush and apply it that way. Ta-da, there we have it. So this is my completed look. Remember, like I said, because this eye look is so neutral, you really have tons of options of what lip that you could do to go with it. Base your lip off of how you're feeling, what is your outfit, and do what makes you happy. I'm gonna go spruce myself up a little bit and I'll be right back to finish up the video. Oh my God, I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. Okay, everybody, now that, now that I've got that out of my system, that is all for this Valentine's look. It is very, very simple to recreate. I promise you, a beginner could do it. A more experienced makeup connoisseur could spice it up a little, maybe add a little cut crease, maybe get some glitter in there. This look is just a beautiful go-to. Truly, you guys, forget Valentine's Day. This look is killer for any day. And it really just has got me feeling myself right now. Like. So you know the drill. All of the products that I use will be linked in the description box below. Please, if you're not already following me on Instagram, go follow me. I post looks on Instagram. I do not always post on YouTube. And of course, if you have not already, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and if you do subscribe, hit that notification bell, and that will send you a notification anytime that I post new content. <sighs> Happy Valentine's Day, angels. I hope that you all have an amazing time and I know that you will all look stunning, whatever you do. I am Carissa and I will see you guys next time.